hope you're doing really well. I am because I'm on holiday in Fuerteventura and it is hot and sunny and I am not in England. Not that I hate England by any stretch of the imagination, but it is getting a little cold and wintry back there. So um, I came over to the Canary Islands without a bike, um, which is a bit weird for me, but I just wanted to have a bit of a break. Um, I've been a bit ill over the summer, nothing like COVID, don't worry. But I got a bit ill and run down and I just wanted to sit in the sun and have a nice time really and do lots of swimming. Having said that, I've been here a few days and I am starting to get itchy feet so I've decided to rent a bike and go and explore and see what cycling is like on this island. So Fuerteventura isn't necessarily known for cycling unlike Gran Canaria where I've been loads and loads of times. Um, this island is better known for windsurfing and surfing and I was hoping to do both of those but I went surfing yesterday and I totally sucked at it because it's been so long and there's no wind for windsurfing so bikes it is. It actually looks really good for gravel cycling there's loads of gravel trails all around the island. The main roads look kind of busy not the sort of thing I'd be totally stoked um, and riding on but the gravel tracks look mega. Unfortunately it's not been possible to rent a gravel bike over here so um, I've just decided to rent well whatever I could get my hands on. I phoned up the local bike shop and I just asked for a mountain bike. I've got no idea what they're going to bring and I don't really even know where I'm going to ride. All I know is I am going to pack or wear my bikini and I'm going to ride along the coast, probably check out some of the natural kind of lagoons and swimming pools, like natural pools they have around here that are formed in the rocks at low tide. Um, have you said that? I don't know what tide times are on today. Uh, so I might check out some of the natural swimming pools. I'll definitely check out the lagoon. I will ride some sort of bike and I'll probably stop for a beer. So hey, it's gonna be fun. <coughs> I did actually have the foresight to bring a helmet because I kind of knew I might want to go for a ride but didn't bring any cycling shorts or any suitable shoes. I think I'm going to be in these. That's going to be comfortable in 27 degree heat. I think it'll be okay. Before I go and find out what kind of dodgy bike they are delivering me, I'm going to grab some breakfast, show you the hotel and maybe have a little swim. Hello. How lovely and clear this pool is. Oh, right, let's ride some bikes. There you are. I wonder what bikes we have. Thank you. One fan that is on the bike, the two repair kit is under the seat and the lock is here. Very strong lock. Oh, here nothing happens. I know, that's why I'm laughing. They cannot run away from the island, yeah. so they try already one time to stall our bike. After two and a half hours, I had already the bike back. <laughs> My saddle is so high! <laughs> How to get told off by everyone at the hotel. Should we put them here? Right, here we go. Two bikes, we've got a KTM something. Very retro. I think they've seen some use. Look at the jockey wheels. There's no teeth left on them. And I've got, oh, I have got teeth on my jockey wheels. So that's a nice touch. And what have I got? Ah, I've got, I haven't got a triple. I've got a double. And this is a Scott scale. It'll do the job. Who needs fancy bike packing bags when you have a dressing gown cord and you can squeeze your metal water bottle cages. Didn't even need this. I'm so going to trust this bike! Oh Christ! We've been about 100 metres, one of the bikes already isn't working. I mean, you can't even pedal. It's the bike with uh, the no teeth on the jockey wheel, funnily enough. Also, they're filthy. I don't know, phone them and we go for a swim while they bring us a new one. I mean, it's hard to get annoyed when you're in such a beautiful place, but would quite like to go for this bike ride. We have gone an enormous distance, 500 meters, and we're heading back to the hotel. Hopefully they can sort us out with a new bike or or I guess we're just swimming. That'll make a boring cycling vlog, won't it? Anyway, we'll figure it out. 
Or a beer. Cheers. Take two. Hopefully, a little more successful this time. This part of Fuerteventura, it's the Costa Calma. It's the, I guess, more calm side of the island. So um, where we're staying, they have the most incredible tidal lagoon that fills up um, just at certain points of the month. And so we were hoping that we'd be able to windsurf on the lagoon, but yeah, no wind. Still, it's really just ridiculously pretty. And I just spend the whole time going, oh my God, it's so nice here. Oh, I love it. You know, you know what I'm like. I do that all the time in every video, but it is truly gorgeous. I'll show you in a minute. There's like a sandbar that goes all the way along. And when the tide's up, comes in and fills in this area and then it dis disappears again entirely. It's so pretty. I think you can, almost walk along the whole of the sandbar um like wading a little bit at super high tide but we're going to try and go around the edge of the lagoon hopefully i saw some other people doing it but i think they might have been on fat e-bikes and we've got well you've seen what we've got but we're going to give it a go all right <laughs> come here before the lagoon filled up would have been a bit easier rather than pedaling through water but yeah bike faff and bike troubles you know how it is <sighs> hmm, kind of really messed up the timing of this essentially just taking my bike for a walk in the sea could maybe just swim in the sea ride later i don't know what do you think person that never speaks <laughs> right i'm not going to film the next bit because i'll get my channel flagged by youtube or my video banned or something but time for some skinny dipping <laughs> Right. Look at the view though. Not too shabby, is it? Probably thinking, why aren't I riding up these ascents? But you bloody try it on these bikes on sand. Just quite a 
quite a lot of deep sand and then some pushing across deep sand. It's the, the path is just two rows of stones. For anyone wondering how I planned this ridiculous route, it's all thanks to Kamut. I put in where I wanted to go, and this is what was suggested. Awesome. <laughs> There's just not really any track. <sighs> Look at that though. This is a bit harder packed at least. Yay! A road. <sighs> Must have done about six kilometers in two hours, maybe. Think it's this way? Not sure. Oh, it's a bit further actually. Oh, not bad, I guess. Now, how about that cold beer? I'm just here drinking a beer on my own. <laughs> <laughs> These padron peppers are so nice. I know. Yum, yum, yum. I think it's time to say goodbye, not least because the bike riding has finished. It's been decided that we should get to camp back to the hotel. We've had a couple of beers and the ride back is less interesting than the uh, amusing way here along the beach, etc., etc. And what's well, cut a long story short, I would rather be lounging by the pool back at my hotel than just slog out a couple of boring miles. Well, more than a couple of boring miles. Basically, I was thinking, okay, I'm only in Fuerteventura for a certain amount of time. What is a better way of spending the rest of my time here? Is it sitting at this beach bar, having another beer? then very quickly getting a cab back to the hotel and swimming in the infinity pool versus a sort of, well, anyway, I'm getting a cab, so I'll see you later. Bye.